Hello Virgo, welcome back to the Alyssa Illuminator. We're going to check in with your energy as well as the person on your mind. Well, let's see. So if you need any extended readings, personal readings, spiritual oils or uh, spiritual jewelry, you can always check my website, thealyssailluminator.com. All right, let's see. What are the messages for you? The person on your mind, how they feel, what is going on? Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles coming through. Ooh, Two of Swords, Knight of Wands. Ace of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Five of Swords. One more. And the Two of Pentacles. I knew it. Very wibbly-wobbly energy. Like, back and forth, in and out, closed off, very open, very social. Then, silent radio. It's like, how do you deal with this energy, Virgo? You're just like... You just want some type of consistency in your life, but you're not really sure where this person stands. It's, it's really uh, a puzzle game with them, is what I'm getting. Like, they're very closed off. They're very much, like, independent and on their own, like, wanting to do their own things. But then all of a sudden, they kind of, like, flare up and blow up your phone. as in like, hey, let's have a fun day or a fun night. And then all of a sudden, you don't hear anything. It's like, it's, this is the most confusing energy. And it's an energy where someone is kind of like testing you, testing your boundaries, testing your innocence, testing your, um, you know, trying to pull you out of your comfort zone. This is the type of energy that I'm getting. It's, it's almost like that initial player type of energies where, where people are, are just, Acting in silly ways just to see your behavior and your reactions. Like, where are your boundaries? How far can I go? How, how far can I push your buttons until you snap? And it's like, this person does not really know themselves what they want in life. Two of Pentacles is like, you know, wondering, everything is all up in the air, needing to find some type of um, solution in their life, and they're running away from it. And who gets the backlash of it? You. Like, they need to come down and discuss the heart of the matter, which is something that they are not even admitting to themselves at this point, perhaps. Which is kind of like resolving, in, uh, res yeah, resolving into selfish acts. Like, this is someone that wants you to chase them. And the Virgo I know is not really a chaser, right? Like, what's your energy like? Show me. Oh, <laughs> what did I say? Two of Wands with the Strength card. You're like, I'm fine sitting here by the window just watching. <laughs> you know, like you're 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 backed off here. Strength card is like. You're pulling out every inch of your strength to not chase them, you know, to not kind of like tell them like, what is wrong with you? Dude, start to speak up. No, 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 no. You're like, I'm not going to do that. You're smart enough. Like this Virgo that I see here has a lot of, um, yeah, you, you've smartened up in this game. Absolutely. And why? Because of the Ten of Swords. You've been already through this over and over again. And you know that... You know that it could end ugly for you if you chase such an energy and you get like a block energy back, it could end up more painful, right? So that's why we don't chase. That's the strength card. We don't chase that energy. You're being cool and open for any suggestions when it comes to your, your path, meaning that if they come forward, you do still have like the um, ability to choose to listen and to go with the flow or to go into that direction. But I'm going to repeat it. This Virgo ain't chasing nobody. 
you're in your personal strength, like powerful, like super powerful. And you know that you're doing it in the correct way. Yes, six of wands and the hierophant. You're like, I'm sorry, this is going to be funny, but you're like, you're gonna bag me for a relationship. <laughs> That's the type of energy that I'm getting like, oh boy. Virgo, you're, um, you're on your high horse, like you're in a very confident spot. You're super determined with, with your goals, but also when it comes to your own values. Like I said before, you've already been through the cycle, all right? The merry-go-round, you've learned from it and you know how to maintain yourself and how to keep yourself in control. And I like this energy. And it's like, you only go to places and, and situations where you know you're going to get victory out of. And this person is just trying things in the wild just to see what they can get out of things. And you're not there, you're, you're like, pew. You're on the next level. Two of cups, like this. Look at this. This is this feels like an inner harmony, like your inner balance, like your feminine and your masculine energy is super balanced. You know how to be emotionally expressing yourself as well as take action on your desires. It, it just this just feels like you have managed to love yourself like internally and kind of like make amends or be in harmony with your own um, dualistic side. Like it's the first time that I get that with the two of cups, obviously, but um, yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do with this situation? What are you going to do? Star, heal. All right, and then we have the Seven of Cups and the Emperor. Seven of Cups and the Emperor in the reverse. So yeah, you're not going to do the work for them. This is, this is the big transformative cycle. Like back in the days, we as the feminines, we supposed to do the work for the masculine. Like we are going to go through the healing process with them. Like we try to be patient and kind of like do the inner work with them. So meaning that if they are selfish and greedy and they kind of like trigger you within that, you take that and you allow that to come to you and heal with them. Now you're like, no, 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 no. That's your problem. I'm sitting here. If you don't appreciate this connection, you can walk away or I can walk away. All you care about is like having a stable foundation, stable connections, relationships, and you're being very much on the outlook when it comes to um, letting them back in. And like I said here, you're okay with healing yourself and focusing on your own opportunities. And at the same time, you're not going to fill in the dots for any person like if they don't show up they're outside the door or outside the energy so you're not going to fill in your own hope if this person does not show up in your life get my point because I'm sure that back in the days especially starting with tarot it was all about like filling in the hope you know like filling in the potential filling in like all the opportunities that could be the coulda woulda shoulda and now it's just like it is what it is not going to take the responsibility for it right like being clear on what a person brings to the table and if it's like the minimum death card this is the cycle of like you learning things so for some of you, majority of you, I feel like this is a new person. If you, I mean, obviously it could be someone that you've been with, but the energy feels like 
unsure energy, unsure where which direction to go. It's like undivided. Uh, we've got memories and healing the inner child and twin flame. So not sure if this is the twin flame that we're talking about, but there's definitely a twin flame that could be wanting to resurface in your life. For some reason, this could be a twin flame dynamic, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting that this is like a, why did I hear like a hop on, hop off bus? I don't know why. Please forgive me for that. But I'm getting that this is just someone that you have like a fling with. It's not your twin flame. Could be someone from your past that you could be confusing as a twin flame. Yeah, your twin flame is still going to show up uh, abruptly. Like, you have the world card, which is major for Saturn. Saturn is all about learning harsh lessons and accomplishing that. We just talked about the lessons and Saturn is absolutely here confirming that this has been a very tough cycle to complete. And it's usually a karmic cycle. The three of wands is all about like the future investment and receiving your success for doing the hard work. And what is coming after that expansion is the tower. The tower is all about like abrupt energies, sudden shifts, sudden changes. And that sudden change is bringing you the love of your life which is the twin flame. But right now you're having a heavy hard time releasing someone that has not been consistent with you because that's that's the that's a major lesson. You are here in a consistent energy, very balanced, okay? Two two twos, two, four, six, eight. Okay, 10. Okay, like you've been evolving, but this person is still stuck on a two. Very strange energies on this side ascending exactly you are ascending here towards real love and a real soul time so maybe you're closing out a chapter with a soulmate and you're moving forward towards your twin flame someone that could be giving you or should be and will be giving you unconditional love that's what i'm seeing here so yes it's time to learn from the past so you can kind of like attract this new energy into your life and it's going to come like a big big bang all right like with a big bang and it's going to be an emotional connection like a real heart-to-heart -heart connection okay don't let the past keep you also stuck on a person don't let the memories and like yeah you know when you have made a lot of memories with someone you've been through a lot and you feel like okay because we've been through a lot this is the person don't let that energy keep you stuck in a cycle where you don't feel happy or when someone does not show up how they're supposed to show up sometimes making new memories is the best thing that you can do believe me anyway this is what i have for you my friends i hope that this message resonated if you need more from my services or products you can check the illuminator.com the links are in the description box below thank you for your likes and shares and comments goodbye